Now we are back to our phones and we have Linda holding for us from Macon. Hi, Linda. Hello. Hey, Linda. Hey, Linda. And go ahead with your question for us tonight. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I got a question about, uh, I was in an accident in July uh, 2nd, I mean, July 22nd, I mean, July 2nd in 2021. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they, I had an accident, so somebody hit us from behind and they kept going. And now I got a case of hit and run. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know what to do about it. I was trying to see, do I, do, can nobody give me any kind of information or what to do about it? I had surgery uh, twice on my neck. I had to go through the surgery again from the accident, and uh, I can't get no, I can't get no nobody to help me. I don't talk to the lawyers. I even in Ohio, they said it's a hit and run, and I, I don't know nothing to do. I'm trying to find out what can they do about it. Well, unless you can figure out who caused the wreck, you're looking at an uninsured motorist situation. And so, if you don't have uninsured motorist coverage, then that's probably if, if people aren't taking the case, that's probably why, because there's no insurance to go against. Because okay. the at-fault driver doesn't have any because you don't know who he is. And that's where your uninsured motors coverage comes in. But you don't have to have uninsured motors coverage. And some people opt out of that. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what the problem may be. But uh, give us a call. Yeah, it sounds that way. I mean, uh, but for sure I would tell her that, uh, you know, with uninsured motors coverage, um, she can get coverage from anybody, any relative that lives in her house. Right. Uh, if you happen to be driving somebody else's car, uh, not your own car, with their permission, you can get to their coverage, um, or I mean, primarily it would be your coverage if you had uninsured motorist coverage. So, certainly, I would, you know, if you talk to another attorney, make sure they know that <clears throat> if you have any resident relatives um, or if you're driving somebody else's car, make sure they know about those other avenues of possible coverage. Because if, if you weren't and you don't have any coverage, then it's, it's unfortunately a situation where there may not be anything. Yeah, that's what we've talked, we preach about UM coverage all the time, and that's yeah, one is. of the reasons because <laughs> you, you got to get it for that situation. Mm -hmm. or more commonly the situation somebody causes the accident they have minimum limits and you have surgery and that's not enough money for surgery mm -hmm. so you get uninsured motor to go on top of what they have mm -hmm. if you have the right kind all right